okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am debt free searching for my home and trying to accomplish my 2024 goals i'm really trying to accomplish it before i find my place and everything gets finalized um just so that i have peace of mind with like my pop emergency fund my dentist my health deductible just because i know like once i pay a mortgage my free little spending stuff is gonna be really restricted anyway this video i decided to do on camera it's more about fixing my f budget because i messed up with my calculations so let me go get my phone because i <clears throat> had budgeted this out for my extra paychecks so the two things i know i for sure did was 30 percent of my paychecks extra paychecks goes to my summer fund and then I definitely put $50 to skincare to make the 400 so I accomplished that goal. You might have seen that in my last video. However, the rest of the money, I don't... Oh, and I also did Nordstrom credit card. Um, if I don't know if I posted it up yet, but I had bought some sneakers. And I didn't know how I was going to pay for it. So I decided to take it for my extra check. So these the three things I know for sure that I did now it's black friday dentist and emergency pup that i don't know if i have the money to stuff it because i messed up and let's me take out my notebook um um the reason why i messed up is that i forgot that i was getting a return i was I, no what is it called i forgot that i was getting refunded if i show you in my expenses I totally forgot that I was getting refunded for ASOS um, $64.99 twice. So what's that? $64.99 times two, $129.98. And I paid off my credit card, which I wasn't supposed to do because I was going to have this refund pay for the, my credit card, but I paid it. So now I have less money in the bank. And now my credit card is going to be at a negative because they're going to owe me money because I haven't spent money, if that makes sense. Hopefully that made sense. So now I have to recalculate. So basically, the reason why I messed up is because I paid off my credit card with my grocery money. So I had budgeted $150 for my grocery money. And I found it strange that I still owed money on my credit card. So I was like, I must have messed up. So I paid it off with the grocery money because I did buy food. But I forgot that I was getting the refund. So now my I have no grocery money because I paid off my credit card. And the money I am getting refunded is going to the credit card. So I just feel like I have no money right now. And I need to have some for groceries at least one more week. Because I still have the 18 to 24. <sighs> Hopefully that explains it. So now I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. As of right now, let me see how much I have in my checking account. As of right now, I have $818.28 into my checking account. However, I that minus the 110 plus 50 so that's 160 that I already sent to Ally. It takes 3 business days to get taken out of your um, checking account so that's already done and i'm not pausing that that's gonna happen so it's 818.28 and 18.28 minus 160 so that leaves me with 658.28 plus my nordstrom credit card is getting 80 no, 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 no. My Nordstrom credit card is not 80. It's 120. I just pulled 80 for my extra. So let me see how much that is. So my Nordstrom total that I know is getting pulled out is 120 and 65 cents. That's nor to pay off that card. So minus 120. 0.65 that's 537 and 63 cents 
I also know that my Roth IRA hasn't been pulled out yet. So that's minus 125. Roth minus 125. That's 412.63. My cushion is 200. So I know that can't be touched unless it's like an emergency. 212.63. What else haven't I done? Um, my eating out has 50 in the bank, so eat out. So minus 50, that's 162.63 cents. Did furniture, oh my god, did furniture get pulled out? Yes, I did. Oh, I think I pulled out and this got pulled out already. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, um, what else am I missing? I feel like that's it that I'm done, but let me just check from the back. Um, I feel like this is how my notebook looks like guys the one that does not get shown on camera that much this is what I do every day off camera to calculate if I'm on budget um, I think that is it oh let me just see if I actually paid my phone or if I made that up in my mind Okay, I paid that off. Perfect. Okay. So, I think that is it. I remember I was, I'm supposed to have more than this for my groceries, but I paid off my credit card like an idiot. So, I, because 150 is for two weeks, I'm going to just budget out another 70 Right, 150 divided by 2 is 75. So I'm going to budget out 75. So minus 75 groceries. Because that already went to my credit card thinking that I forgot. I'm so mad at myself that I forgot that I was getting a refund. That's the thing about ASOS. Like, if you return at H&M, Zara, Express, they give you the refund that same day. But ASOS takes like a week, so I totally forgot about it. 165, no, 162.63 minus 75. That leaves me with $87.63. Now this money, can I still do what I planned over here? I'm not sure. Let's see, how much did I plan? 15 plus 25 plus 50 plus 35. No, I definitely cannot do that. So what I want to do is I'm going to finish Black Friday. Oh, so now because I have $87 in the bank, however, I need to take this money to the bank. So I am going to just pull this money and leave that in the bank and then just transfer if I can if I have enough, I might still have to bring money to the bank to be honest. Because I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 here. 100, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I have 150 and I only need 85. I'm going to do 85. So 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80. So I need to take 20, 40, 65 to the bank. Alright. Hopefully that makes sense of how I do it so that I don't have to keep going back and forth to the bank. Actually, I could take out my eat out money too so I don't use it. How much do I have left here? Um, 20, 40. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? You know what? I'm going to take out my eat out money. So I don't waste that because I had eat out money in the bank because I was going to buy my best friend lunch because it was counselor's week. But she decided to do another week so I can just pull it out so I don't use it. So 20, 40. I need to make change. 20, 40, 60, 80. 80. I still need 5. 5. So 20, 40, 60, 85. And I need to pull out 50. To put in eat out so 20 40 50 20 40 50 so i have to take 15 to the bank all right hold up 
So this one is going into eat out. Eat out. Hold on, let's see. So eat out has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. It has 100 again. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So you know what? That means that this is no longer. That is going to go to what I wrote over, oh, what I wrote over here. So now I can put this to ally, but I still need to deposit those 15 and this is going to go, let's see, 87, 87.63 minus 85. So what I really should have in the bank is 263. No, not that one, this one, this one still is good. I'm gonna redo this one. But first, let's do this. Because this is what I really wanted to. Okay. Now, let's see. I need to make change. Because these are 20. So, eat out is gonna have this. Can I make more change somewhere here? Self care? No. Coffee, no, Nespresso, probably. Yes, okay. 20, 40, 60. Any more change I can make? I don't think so. Maybe? No. Oh, actually, let's put these two fives and take this 10. That way I have change there. Okay, so let's see what I could do for blackout. Why did I put this away? So for Black Friday, I want to get February done. So we have 23 and I said 25. Thank God I have budgeted that one. So we're going to do a 25. So this was for February 16th, 25. So we're going to do 25. Now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, and 677. So we got this one done. This one did not get done. I feel like emergency fuck. I want to put 35. 2035 emergency fund pop. I'm gonna do that one. So Emergency fund pop is going to get 35. Let me write it down here. This one is from February. What am I doing? 16 plus 35. Let's see how much we have now. Oh, I think we have enough to <laughs> condense. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. 85, 90, 95, 100. Perfect. Okay. So I did 35. So 25. Oh, no. Oh, 25. 35. Okay. So let's condense at the end of this video. Just so I know I'm going to put the rest of the money. And then this is dentist. Oh. No, emergency won't be done. So how much do I have left? I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars left. So that's going to go to dentist. Dentist is going to get 25. Oh, I could put that one. Damn it. So from February 16th paycheck. February 16th, I have 
plus 25. Oh, can we contend? Probably not. So we have a lot of fives. That's good. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We have 640 now. I'm gonna say this one was 25. Perfect. Now let's condense. We are going to be doing a condensing, which is over here. I feel like let's put this one away. I feel like emergency fob can become condensed. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. 85, 90, 95, 100. So we're going to put a um, $100 placeholder here. So we have. Hi, yay, yay. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred and five dollars. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, a hundred. So a hundred is going to emergency fund pup. I'm gonna put that over here. This is what I'm returning to the bank. And then dentist is a hundred. No, dentist is not a hundred. Is it health care? No. Birthday? No. Okay, I think that was it. But before I put all this money to the bank, I like to keep change. So, let's see. Beauty, that's haircut. Let's put these two tens here. Eating out, let's put the five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And then laundry. I only got 15. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of these then. Actually, I wanna do the laundry. I wanna do the laundry. Five. Okay, so that is me condensing and keeping some of my bills. Now, what we're taking to the bank is 20, 40, 60, 80, 115. So let's redo my math again. We, I have 818 and 28 cents. Minus 160 is going to ally. That I did a long time ago. 658.28 minus 120.65. That is going to Nordstrom, which is 537.63 minus 125, which is my Roth, which is 412 and 63 cents minus 200, which is my cushion. What am I doing? It is 212 and 63 minus 75 for groceries. 212.63 minus 75 is 137.63. So I have 137.63 and I have to deposit 20, 40, 60, 80, 115. So plus 100 and 15 deposit so 
oh no plus 115 that's 252 and 63 cents and that is what i need 100 250 and then two dollars and 63 cents is what i have left over all right perfect everything worked out hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you enjoyed this video if you did please comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye